Hey, it's Meredith from vidpromom.com and we're on day number 24 of 30 Days of GoPro. We got a little bit off track, but we're gonna get back on right now. So in my very last video, I showed you how to offload the clips from your GoPro's memory card and get them onto your phone. Once they're on your phone, what do you do with them? Good question, right? So you could do nothing with them. You could just keep them on your phone for your own you know, use. Um, you could upload them straight to Facebook or YouTube or Instagram directly from your phone. But if you wanna do a little bit of editing before you upload them to your social media networks, then there's a couple of apps that you may wanna check out. Now I should say, you don't have to edit your videos. It's not a must, but a lot of people like to do that. They like to edit out um, the places in their footage that are not that great or maybe they're a little bit shaky or blurry or whatever they're just bad for some reason um, and you only want to upload the good stuff to social media right so that's where editing your videos comes into play you may also have multiple clips that you want to string together into one video so you're gonna have to do a little bit of editing to get that done as well now personally I love to edit my videos on my computer I actually really enjoy video editing but I do it all on my computer. I have a MacBook Pro and I love editing videos on my computer. I don't love doing it on a mobile device, but sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes that's all you have and that's fine. So in today's video, I wanna show you what some of the more popular and well-known apps are out there for editing those videos right on your phone. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to look for GoPro's Splice app, which is available for iPhone. I don't know if it's out for Android yet. And then there's also GoPro's Quick app. These are really two completely different apps, but um, don't get the Quick app for your phone confused with the Quick app for desktop, which I'm gonna talk about that one tomorrow, but they're two different apps. They kind of sort of do the same thing, but not really, because they're on different devices. So outside of those GoPro ecosystem apps, you have Adobe Clip, which is made by, obviously, Adobe, and then you have Filmora Go, and then you have iMovie. Now, I haven't used those last three, um, Adobe Clip, Filmora, Filmora Go, um, or the iMovie app for my phone. I haven't used those, but I do have some videos for you on how to use the Splice app, on your phone and also the quick app on your phone. So I'm gonna to link to those now so you can go check those out. And um, catch me here tomorrow, we're gonna to talk about that quick app for desktop. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now. Give it a thumbs up while you're at it. And if you haven't grabbed my GoPro settings cheat sheet from back in video number one, you can go get it now. And I'll see you next time. Bye.